Gorgeous ladies and gentlemen of the realm, Fairy Vixen here, back again on Monday, Monday evening. Um, yeah. Just for something different, I'm going to start off showing you some stuff that I repaired while talking to my sister on the phone. We have first this one that is Japanese. It's part of my, it was part of my collection and it was broken and it was, it's beautiful. It's teal and blue, and it's stunning. And it's Japan. Jap <laughs> it was. It's Japanese. I had another Japanese one that I took the hook from, um, but <clears throat> I didn't realize that the uh, hook is gold tone. But it's not going to matter to me. Um, my collection isn't going to care, really. So. I mean, I will take an offer for that one if you want it, but you can make me an offer and we'll see. Let's see, let's see. Okay, everybody back where you belong. There we go. Back on my beautiful... I have all these really nice busts, but my camera's not up high enough to show them to you. So, today we have... Uh, uh, got this one from... Raven. Got this a long time ago and painted it blue because I read Terry Pratchett books and death in Terry Pratchett is she's a skeleton with blue eyes but they're like uh, star sapphires and I would really like to get star sapphires to throw in there but not for a fashion piece so probably cat's eye maybe I'll try to throw in there at some point. This uh, you want to know about my nails if you do. This is a dark navy with a unicorn skin over top. And the unicorn skin is Aurora, I think. This is um, a multi-chrome from HT. They're, these are all hollow taco except for that. Um, but this is supposed to shift from blue to dark blue to pink. But being as my light is weird... I don't know if it's gonna, you know, let's turn this sucker out too. See what we get. No, nope. yeah, not looking, no, nope. -uh. This one you can see the purple. This is a, I love nail polish, top coat thing. Whatever. You don't care about nails, you wanna see jewelry. Alright, okay. Oh, another thing. I was going through my closet trying on stuff to see if it fit. And, yeah, some of it didn't. So, we're going to show you a couple of things out of my closet. Because the shirts that they went to don't fit anymore. So, these are up for grabs again. This one is very cool. It's brass and it looks like a... Brass and hematite almost. It's really neat looking. But I had a nice gray shirt that I had with this one. and It no longer fits me because I am fat. Okay, it's got a little bit of wear on the clasp, but that's about it. It's really pretty. Whoa, it's really catching that light. It's really pretty. Sorry, I didn't mean to blind ya. This one will do for six. And this one, another one that didn't, doesn't fit. The shirt that it was with does not fit. It is a Betsy Johnson. It's got the little bows and the leopard and the hearts on the back. It's got a little froggy and a leaf and another leaf. I mean, it's adorable, and it's kind of long. Hold on, let me see. Let me see what do we have. And I'm not sure, I forget what the name of this type of chain is. I don't know. Oh, I didn't show you the rest of the stuff that I repaired. Hold on. I'll show you in a minute. I'm getting a little, I'm discombobulated because I just got back from the doctor. 
this is 32 and then uh, another three so 35 with the expender I cannot tell if it's authentic Betsy but I'm gonna say so um, I didn't get a look at the paper tag if it's the pink leopard uh, paper tag it's fake and if it's um, the other one it's real or that's what I've seen but I like these leaves they're very pretty and they like the little froggy he's adorable he's so cute so yeah we're gonna do this guy for 12 roll it into Betsy anyway there's a couple things I pulled out of and fixed while I was talking to my sister um, first off is that necklace you've already seen and then I have this brooch that I'm gonna give to my daughter who's an artist who was missing the red stone it's not quite as sparkly as the ones that are in it but uh, I think it'll do so I glued that in there for her and then this one <laughs> This one had one stone missing, and, well, it's not really a stone, it's a hunk of plastic, but I thought this was really cute. It's pink and green and very springtime. And this, uh, this is that aluminum German type chain, if you know what I mean. Really, really lightweight. And then this stuff is all, uh, molded metal and then it has plastic set uh gems set in it <laughs> i thought it was kind of cool and since it had only one piece missing this one right here in the middle i figured i would fix it and this one we'll do this one for five it's very very cool and it is fixed now so and then the piece de resistance this gorgeous thing is a Cellini cell row, uh, seven panel, 7.5 inch wide, 2.25, in, uh, wait, 7.5 7 inch long, 2.25 wide, seven panels, beautiful, rare, 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 rare. Cellini cell row and it was missing one of these and I I had the stone so I put it back in and it has lovely little uh, oriental ladies little Asian ladies and not the normal uh, Asian princess one um, yeah this is uh, quite rare I would keep it except that it's a bit much it, it, well, you know me, I'm a bit much anyway, but, um, yeah, it's stunning. It's a stunner. Um, and with the help from a friend, I, I've comped it, and the comp price that we found was $275. So if you know of a cell row collector that would like a rare piece... Please do let them know that I have it and give them my link and my email, okay? So that's going to stay with me for now. Uh, also up in my jewelry um, box, this, uh, I think it's sterling. It's from my family, but it's missing the stone. Um, so this might just get scrapped. I have to scrap it because I don't have this stone. I don't know why I'm talking like that. It seems to be a, th a thing lately. Oh, I know why. Because I was watching a, I was watching an urban urban exploring uh, video of this couple that got to go into Chernobyl and walk around. It says silver on it, so yeah, it's sterling. It's a sterling one. And it's got kind of a gold cast to it, so it might have even been Vermeer at one time. 
Yeah, I'm seeing some gold on the edges. Alrighty then, that's going to go for scrap. I have a scrap bag somewhere that I need to need to take to the pawn shop or wherever. Okay, so we've killed 10 minutes. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, we're going to start on the actual jewelry that I have left in the bottom of this box. There's not a whole lot. It's a whole bunch of small stuff. Uh, I don't know what this is. <gasps> Excuse me. This is... <gasps> Excuse me, I just had lunch. Jeez. This. These are nice. Real smooth. Vintage plastic white hoops. Very cool. I like those. Yay! Uh, put them back in here. We'll do those for four. Really nice. Basket. What is that? Is, is that basket? Basket type? I don't know. I forget terms from one day to the next. Here is a purple plastic and or Lucite and or Bakelite and or I don't know. Screaming yellow. I'll do that for two. Oh wait. I need to tell you how big that is. It's not very big. <coughs> it's a six. See right there? It's a six. It's a six. Um, This is... I pulled all of these out of the bottom that I could find. I think I got them all. They're wood and they have like a aluminum through the middle. Okay. Okay. Ooh, okay. So if you would like these awesome wood beads with the metal centers, I will give you those. It's a whole little bag full. We'll do that for four. Money clip, money clip. Oh my gosh, all the money clips. Money clip. Oy. Any more money clips? No. What? Oh, these cool. Alright, getting ahead of ourselves. Sometimes when you get to the bottom of the box, it's kind of neat. This had something attached to it, but I do not know what. And it is embossed, and it's a really nice one. Okay, so there's that one, and then there's this one. I don't know that this is money clip. It does not look like. It's a little too, I don't know. It's a little too tight here and a little too fat there. So if you know what that is, or you could use it for a money clip. I don't know. And this one says John on it. Need to be scrubbed. Really not a whole lot wrong. Oh, there's nothing wrong with that. Hold on a second. Let me rub it a little bit. Let's put it. There's the little rubby, rubby thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> If you have a John in your family that would like that, oh my gosh, that's so pretty when you shine it up. Nice. My ex was a John. But I'm not giving him no jewelry. <laughs> Maybe I can give it to my daughter to give it to him for his birthday or something. Father's Day. Yeah, that might be nice. Yeah, I'll ask her if she wants to. He might like that. I don't hate his guts. There. Oh, that's really nice when you shine it up. 
Okay, um, these guys, I'm going to do this one for a buck, this one for a buck, and this one, since it's so nice, we're going to do this one for five. And it's not because I was going to give it to my daughter. It's just that it's in good shape and these aren't. Okay? <laughs> I can still give it to my daughter if nobody wants it. But I thought, you know, John is a pretty common name, so if anybody wants it, let me know. Let me know. Yeah. My, apparently my laundry is done. That's another thing. When I got home from the doctor, I went upstairs and folded all the laundry that was sitting in the laundry room in baskets that was clean. Holy moly, this is a 12. It's a 12. It's a big old ring. Let me see. Let me see. Can we shine it up? Shine. Yeah, it shines up a little bit. I mean, it's dull on these sides, but then... Kablammy right there. I mean, it looks, it looks like it's been worn a bit. All right. Well, that's a big, huge one, and I know people look for those, so we'll do that for eight. And then we have another Crystal Beach. Crystal Beach. No idea. Four. Mary. Mary. And then Saint somebody. <clears throat> Saint's medal. Let's see. What does it say on it? I have a whole bunch of um, Catholic stuff. So, Dallas Maria, it says on the front. Do you know? But it's plated, so it's it's not like, you know, sterling or anything. And then there was this pocket rosary. Somebody told me this was a pocket rosary. I was going to test it for silver, but I don't think it is. They look the same color, don't they? We're going to do the pair of these. I know I offered this up, but we're going to do the pair of these uh, since nobody got this one. Um, we'll do the pair for four. And then we have this, which is steel and... Um, it's two chains that are put together with black bugle beads, okay? And then they have a, um, a fold-over clasp, which is really nice. Oh, come on. Don't, don't do this. Don't do this. Why? There. It's very secure. Very secure. All right, all right, let's move the camera out because I think, whoop, that's in. There, there, <gasps> anyway, eh. let's measure it. We have eh, seven and a half, and it's really kind of cool. I like it. Um, it's simple but nice. We will do that one for three dollars. Here's another little bracelet with a white cat's eye. Steel, of course. Lots of steel. I have a bunch upstairs I need to bring down. Steel is a thing lately. This one is eight and a quarter from end to end. So this one will be seven steel. Very nice steel bracelet. Heavy, very nice. Sweet. Okay. Here's a steel cross. It has a bail on the back. Very plain, very nice. We'll do that for three. All these little things. Earrings. Uh, what is that? That is, what the, Nikes? 
That almost looks like... Mm. <laughs> looks like I need to test it. Here's a little pair of clip gray earrings. Very cute. We'll do those for two. Ugh. Oh, and this. I polished this up. This one looked like death when I got it out of the box. It is sterling. It has a little bit of schmutz there that I can't get off for some reason. I think that was something else stuck to it because it tested sterling. And it has this weird little clasp. Isn't that weird? That one's going to stay with me. We have a little CZ ring. Very, very small. SMO. It is four and three quarters. So, yeah. Four and three quarters. Yep. That is a pretty much a midi on anyone but me, I guess. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll do that one for two, I guess. Here is a little pair of dolphins with a little dolphin tail. Uh, it feels like it should be. <gasps> Excuse me, Lord. Um, let's do a scratchy test. Nope. He's red. He's brass. Or not brass. Uh, copper. But it's still really neat. I like the configuration of it. And it is plated, so it'll polish up nice. So, we're going to do this one for five. <coughs> Excuse me. USA. USA. Olympic pin. Five. Oh, look, a tiny little, tiny little snake. I like the little snake. I think I will keep the little snake. Um, yes. Oh, my, he's not as little as I thought. He's at least a five. He might even be a six. Nope, he's five and a half. Five and a half. He's so cute, though. Look at him. Um, yeah. Sorry, guys. I'm keeping him. Oh, hey, look. There's the other one of those. So, we have a pair of little teeny shell earrings. Just linear hung on the hook. Uh, we'll do those for two. If I can find a little bag for dance. Um, <laughs> God, I'm weird today. <laughs> the heel. Uh, well... I'm weird every day, but, like, I feel like I'm weirder today than I've been in a while, so. Uh, I said two, right? Yeah. Tudala, tudala. Uh, here is a, ooh, I like this chain. That's really cool. And it's a little bit funky in one spot. It's twisted. See that? Right there. I need to pull it so it is not like that. Why you do? It got... It got turned around somehow. Nah. It's a cute little chain. What does it say on it? Something with a C? Claire's. <laughs> okay, a buck. <laughs> There's no reason for that. This is an incline. Incline too. Very tiny. Little tiny. Who has a neck like that? I don't. Do you? I don't have one like that. I used to, but I don't anymore. This is 15 inches. Wow. Wow. Um, yeah. We'll do that one for four. 
This is very tiny. It says 100% attendance at the 4-H. 4. There's a little earring. Put that with these earrings. They still have a pile of earrings over here. This is very tiny little ring. Yeah, that's a that's a midi. Because it doesn't even fit my panky. Anywho, where are we at? We're at 25. Let me grab a handful. Eek, what the heck is that? This, I am unsure as to what this is. If you know, you can tell me. And it had something hanging from it. I, I assume. Uh, if you'd like it, make me an offer, I guess. I don't know what it is, even. Um, we have a little monkey. No. What are you? I don't know what he is. Yeah, I think he's the monkey god. Whoever the monkey god is, I forget his name. Three dollars. He's not ivory. Oh. Here's our September 11th remembrance pin. We'll do that for five. This is says. Inspire. Little silver tone ring that says Inspire on it. That's nice. It's in good shape. It's shiny all the way around. I don't know what it's made of. Probably steel. It's a seven. We'll do that for two. Very small. Little, little thing. Cute. Shamrock. Oh, look at that. That's adorable. It's um, guilloche uh, on steel. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It's very, very nice and very, very, looks like very vintage as well. We'll do him for six. Two bucks a leaf, y'all. This is a lapel pin or tie tack that is made of either uh, picture jasper or it to me it looks like um, petrified wood so we're gonna do that one for six here is red and a copper red um, dyed howlite and a copper or is that brass looks like brass okay so brass and red dyed howlite two dollars don't know. I have to test. Probably glass. Same with this. I don't know, but I gotta test it. Probably glass. This is missing all of its stones. It's unmarked. It's going in the craft lot. There's a tie tack. Oh, look. Or a tie, a tie bar with, um, it's a Father's Day one with, uh, looks like the children's um birthstones that's really cool we'll do that one for six this looks like indian silver which is not silver silver but it's got a hunk of something a hunk of something in there i don't think it's real little blue stone. I think it's supposed to be uh, a lapis. It's a, just about a six. It's five and three quarters. And it's, you know, it's the Indian silver. I'll do that for two. This is a pendant with a horse or a pair of horses. Oh, look, it's a pair of horses. And it has the, it's a watch fob thingy. It goes on the end of your watch chain. So, I wish I had a gold tone watch fob. Because I have, I have a, um, I have a silver tone one. But I don't have a 
gold tone one anyway this is a watch fob ch uh, charm we're gonna do that for five this is buddha on uh purple glass and it is intaglio it is carved in very nice five avon i've already opened it it is full of uh some sort of gunk <laughs> avon avon smelling anyway it was a brooch uh, and now it's just the pendant because the the sword has gone off of the brooch part so we'll do that for two if and you want some smelly stuff <gasps> Hey, we're at 30. Oh, wait, I'm going to take this off. Um, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment in the down there. And if you see something you can't live without, please do leave a timestamp in the comments below of the item in which you're interested. But if you would rather, you could send that same information to my email, which is in my description. But if you do that, please include the title of the video and the date that it was posted so that I can find your items. And if you have not bought from me before, please include your name, address, PayPal email, and YouTube names so that I can match up your items. Or <laughs> match up your names, get your items invoiced, and in the mail to you as soon as possible. I invoice on the 1st and the 15th of each month. Also... I love each and every one of you, and be yourself, because everyone else is taken. Bye-bye.